So now the news, Oxfam Nidress attributes to Nidress persistent inequality and poverty to wealth inequality and refusal of the reach to pay taxes. The country's near bankruptcy and also potential social crisis are linked to poor management of wealth inequality. The panel of discussants concluded that wealth inequality and poor taxation are major factors contributing to inequality and poverty in Nigeria. Despite being the fourth largest economy in Africa, the benefits of economic growth have largely been concentrated in the hands of a small elite, leaving millions of Nigerians trapped in poverty. Only 40 of the wealthiest Nigerians were found to be compliant taxpayers, according to the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, and Joint Beam Technologies Corporation, JBT. This represents a compliance rate of just 0.035%, meaning that over 99% of Nigerians' wealthiest citizens invade or avoid paying taxes. Emphasizing this point, when you look at the situation in Nigeria, it is alarming. The panelists agree that Nigeria has the potential to become a great uh, nation if the elite and the rich pay taxes. They called for government accountability and fighting corruption in all public and private life. Inequality in Nigeria has been deeply historical. But we know that over the last 40 years, the kind of economic policies that we have designed as a country since the introduction of structural adjustment program in 1986, to the subsequent reforms, including the current one that we are going through as a country, are deliberate designs that favors the rich and the powerful, and that continues to impoverish the poor. When such policies coincide with existing cultural practices, they further deepen this inequality. And that's the challenge we see on the gender dimension. Part of the reason why inequality is growing in Nigeria is because of the uh, absence of um, uh, development frameworks. In the past, this country used to have uh, you know, uh, development frameworks, but since the return of democracy, I think we only had one. And therefore, capturing the needs of the people is not a priority to policymakers and to even legislators because they didn't even have any framework that they can actually work on. So therefore, you see so many projects um, allocated that you know they will not be finished in the next 10 years, and they would simply put the purpose of uh, taking the money. They will just you know um, put in those projects, and they will abandon them. But when we see the budget spent on social services, on basic rights of women, children, and the most vulnerable people, is even more alarming. If you see that the government invests five to seven percent of its budget to allow people in need, vulnerable people, to, to enjoy their rights to education, to enjoy their rights to health, and to enjoy their rights to social protection, it's quite alarming. When citizens cannot afford or access basic needs. Then they are pushed to the wall. And when people are pushed to the wall, they react. I'm a young person, and we all know what young people are going through in this country. Not far long ago, there was a protest that almost brought the country to her knees. If there were equality, young people would not go to the streets to protest. I just returned from the Northeast. In a community in Bauchi State, I met a young girl who had dropped out of school. And I asked her why. And she said her family could not afford 3,000 naira. 
I need you to reflect. And 3,000 Naira is just about $2. And the report stated that families and households in a day cannot afford $2. Now, that 3,000 Naira is needed for a term. That is for three months. But her family cannot afford it. That is one child out of many. And that is one state out of 36. Final concluded on Hydra's economic revitalization and progress can only be achieved by bridging income and wealth inequality as the super rich must pay the taxes that contribute to the country's progress. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.